Now the light switches and the light bulbs in my fifth wheel keep burning out. They get real hot. And you can see how discolored that is from the heat. It even melted the switch. The switch won't open or close. First I'm going to test the filament of the light bulb. I have a, a good filament, good continuity, and I can hook it directly to a 12-volt uh, battery source. And the bulb is working. Okay, now I'm going to test the continuity of the switch. It seems to be open, but it changes when I touch it. The contacts are probably warped from all that heat. Now to get a more realistic true temperature like it would be normally running, I'm going to put the cover back on and I installed a thermocouple on the bulb. So now I'm going to see what the temperature is using the thermocouple. Okay, it's been a couple hours. 523 degrees. To see if this actually does get up to 500 degrees, I taped a, a little sliver of paper on the bulb to see if it's going to catch fire at the ignition point of paper at 451 degrees. Okay, it's at 450. The paper's turning brown. I don't think you can see it. 480. That paper is definitely turning brown. Of course, this is not exact science. At 485. I smell paper burning. I think we have ignition at 490. Okay, I smell it burning. I'm going to stop here. Okay, I didn't want to keep going because I didn't want to melt my lens. But, as you can see, it's turning black as it's almost getting ready to catch on fire. See the paper is burnt. Now I'm going to change out this burnt light fixture with the new one I bought. The first I'm going to change out these 921 incandescent bulbs with these uh, LED replacements. And these LED bulbs are only 2 watts compared to the uh, 18 watts of the 921 bulbs. Now I'm going to take these LED bulbs and install them and these LED lights put off hardly any heat, 111 degrees. Now the way you remove the light fixture, you take the covers off and you take this cover and you slide it back. And it should pop off. See that slot? It's a little wider here and it comes off. Now the way you take this light fixture off is you have these four screws you need to remove. And then you carefully pull your wires out. Give you enough to work with. Now before you cut these wires to remove this uh, fixture, make sure you cut off the main switch that controls these overhead lights, not the individual switches, but the main switch. Since you're going to throw this fixture away, cut this wire as close to the fixture as you can. Okay, now when you're wiring it back, you just go the black to the black and the white wire to the white wire. 
and I'm just going to use uh, orange wire nuts twist the wire around tight as you can get it put the orange wire nut on twist it on as tight as you can get it without breaking it off pretty tight and then pull the wires make sure they don't come out make sure there's no wires exposed okay now carefully push your wires back up into the ceiling put your screws back in don't over tighten them or they'll strip out put your covers back on you put them in the slot in the front and then push it forward and then test the light there you go